Hey, we want to thank you all for joining us tonight for the Autumn Drive Water and Sewer Improvement Community Construction Meeting. Uh, Tony Shalola, who is our Assistant Water Director over Water Capital Project Delivery, is going to stand in tonight for Gina Johnson, who is your Project Manager. We do have uh, Fabian on the line. He is our inspector. And we have Keegan Yawkers from Circle C, which is the contractor. If you think it's something you want to ask during the presentation, you can type it into the chat and then we will wait until the presentation is over to field those questions. Um, something else? Nope, I think that is it. I'm going to, oh, I'm sorry. We are recording this. We will post the video of this meeting to the project page by Monday at the latest. And we will also post a PDF of this PowerPoint to that project page. And I'm going to hand this over to Tony Shalola. Good evening. Again, like Sally said, I'm filling in for Dina Johnson, who is your project manager. The agenda today is we're going to introduce the project team. We're going to have a project overview. We're going to have a project area. We're going to go over frequently asked questions and timeline. And can everybody hear me? Okay, I'm assuming that's a yes. So if you look yes. on the, if you look on the overview that's in front of you, if many of you recall, probably about the two years ago, we were conducting improvements on Ranch View Road, which is the road that bisects Autumn Drive. So now it's we're going to go down Autumn Drive and go to work. And if, so if those of you that live on where Autumn Drive comes to Autumn Court. We've had several main breaks that I was personally aware of, maybe two or three in the last three years. This project is going to fix that. So we're going to go with the presentation again. The project team is Dina Johnson. She can be reached at 817-392-7866. At the email address posted uh, right there. The city inspector is uh, Fabian Diaz, 817-223-3348. At the city email address posted, and that's that, that's going to be your primary contact on the project. So basically, the project team also includes Circle C construction, and we have Keegan Junkers is online uh, to also answer construction related questions. The design consultant on the project is RLG, and Brent Lewis is the project manager for the consultant. So basically, on the project, the area is bound by Autumn Drive to the north, Autumn Drive, Autumn slash, or slash Autumn Court to the north, Bel Air Circle to the east, Winslow Drive and Overton Park to the south, and Overton Park Drive east to the west. So we're going to have water main replacement. We're going to replace water sewer mains on the roadway. And the water mains range in diameter from four inch to 10 inch in diameter. And those will be replaced in Autumn Drive and Autumn Court. The sewer main will be replaced in Autumn, Autumn Drive from the South Cul-de-Sac to Autumn Court as shown on the previous exhibit. We will conduct sewer main easements in the, in the easement north of Ranch View Road from 660 feet north of the Ranch View Road slash Auto Drive in intersection. And we're going to go west westwards with that sewer main. We're also going to replace the old sewer main west of Auto Drive from about 1,000 feet north and 180 feet west of the Ranch View Road and Auto Drive intersection. Then that line is going to go north about 290 foot. And the easements are located between Autumn Drive and Overton Park Drive, which, and the picture you're looking at is Overton Park Drive. So again, that's the project overview. The project is located in District 3, and the construction will impact traffic for customers in the Overton Park Neighborhood Association, Tango Wood Neighborhood Association, and the West, and the West Cliff West. Neighborhood Association. Typical landmark, the landmark, sorry, is the Fort Worth branch of the Trinity River is to the west and south of Autumn Drive. The picture depicts Autumn Court at Autumn Drive. So why is the city 
and particularly where the department doing this project. So with the uh, the department prioritizes replacing water or sewer mains that have a high risk of failure, and based on available data that includes water main break history. Again, like I previously said, some of you have probably experienced water main break on the road. We have a leak history that we keep. We can see we can do closed circuit TV inspection of our mains. The age of the line, the line material in this case for the water is cast iron. And if you if you're you're watching the news lately, we've been having breakdowns and collapses of cast iron water mains that were probably installed in the 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. And then we also have lead service lines we may have to deal with from time to time. So which priority is specific to this capital project? So for right now, it's basically a cast iron water main initiative to reduce the amount of water main breaks because those cast iron mains constantly break and we're having to replace them. So to that effect, we'll be replacing cast iron water mains in autumn drive and autumn court to put a stop to all the breaks. Some of you all have been experiencing. So typically ask questions. Will, 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 will there be lane closures during construction? I believe we're going to have at least one lane closed when the mains are being removed and replaced. This is the only way in and out for you folks that live to the north. So we have to maintain one lane of traffic. And we will post signs to let you know when the lane will be closed. So you may shift from one side to the other, depending if we're replacing the water main or the sanitary sewer main. And will the contractor need access to our property? So basically the construction on this is in the public right of way and where we have our easement utility. If we need to get on your property, you will be contact, contacted. And over to the right hand side, close to the driveway our curb return is a water meter box, which will be replaced in conjunction with the water main replacement. So in the event the property is damaged, before we get to that point, the contractor is required to take uh, videos and pictures of the property before beginning construction. We also encourage you, the property owner, to take pictures and video to document with a date stamp so the, to document the condition of your property prior to construction. And any damage the contractor caused that is documented that you didn't have that damage before construction, the contractor is obligated to take care of it. Now, will construction affect my irrigation system? The contractor will cap irrigation lines before construction start. He will also ask property owners to turn on their irrigation system so the sprinkler head can be located and flagged. That's just typically what all our contractors know to do. And the contractor will replace damaged the contractor will replace damage. Uh, contractor will replace damage, damage sprinkler heads or anything that damages during construction. So that must be done. So the construction hours typically our construction hours are from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday, and if requested by the contractor, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. on Saturdays. The contractor cannot work on city holidays, which include Thanksgiving Day, the day after Thanksgiving, Memorial Day, Christmas Day, June 10th, New Year's Day, Independence Day, Martin Luther King's Day, and Labor Day. So will we have access to our driveways during construction? Uh, the inspector and the contractor will work with what what one of customers who need driveway access during active construction. Again, those hours are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday, and if requested by the contractor, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. on Saturdays. So a lot of questions come on trash day. Will we be pick up will residents be able to pick up their trash day and recycle during construction? If your side of the street is closed on your scheduled trash day uh, collection day, the contractor will take your trash and recycle carts to the opposite side of the street so the trash collection vehicle can pick it up. So basically, to know when construction will start, 
If you live in an area that's impacted by construction, keep an eye on your front door for a hanger from the city of Fort Worth. You will receive two hangers. On the first one, it will say construction starts in seven days, and it looks as such. We have the English and Spanish translation for it of when construction will start. The second hanger will say construction starts tomorrow. The city inspector will include his or her, I think we have a guy here, will include his business card and contact information on the door hanger that will be placed at your door. On the timeline, the for this reason, uh, this project, we got, we're in construction, so the phase is the notice to proceed date when the contractor expects to start is April 8, 2024, and it will commence with construction and the not end of autumn court. You may see the contractor maybe make some preliminary inquiries in the area and look around to maybe look for space to store material or maybe set up temporary water, but the main we anticipate construction starting on April 8, 2024. And the projected end date for the for this water capital project is September 2024, barring any uh, unforeseen circumstances. So once construction starts, maybe rain delays or whatever delays, the construction uh, contractor, sorry, may encounter, but we expect the job to be done by late September. So to get more information, you can go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and type the project number 102785 or 102785-2, which is specific, specifically for Autumn Drive. And in the search bar for the autumn uh, for, on the home page, autumn drive water and sewer improvements will pop up. To get project updates, scroll down to the bottom of the project page and click on subscribe to this page. The power the project map and PowerPoint will be linked to this project page. So to report an emergency or non-emergency, if it's a water main break or sewer main break for 24 hours a day, you can call 817-392-4471 and select option one. If it's a non, if it's a water, water call center for non-emergency, you can call the water call center, which operates from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday to Friday, and that number is 817-392-4477. Call center is closed on Saturday. You can also download uh, my F1 app, my Fortwood app from the Apple Store or Google Play. You can report sewer overflows, leaks, water main breaks, missing or broken middle, uh, middle leads, water theft, water violations, no water service, water pressure issues, and other sewer, sanitary sewer concerns. Again, your project team consists of Dina Johnson. City of Fort Worth at 817-392-7866 at dina.johnson at fortworthtexas.gov. And the inspector is at Fabian Diaz, 817-223-3348. And that's Fabian Diaz uh, slash Aduna at fortworthtexas.gov. And the project team also includes the contractor Circle C Construction and Ariel G is an Ariel G, Brent Lewis, is our consultant on the job. So thank you for attending today's presentation and I'm gonna hand it over to Sally. Anybody has okay, any Tony, I made a typo on Fabian's name if everyone wants to write this number down. His phone number is 817-223. 2248. He, he typed it in the chat if you can see the chat. Okay, and now we've got a question from Craig. I'm not sure how to say your last name, Craig Dibel. Um, You said describe how you will access the easement between Autumn and Overton Park East. Will you be clearing vegetation under utility lines? I believe the contractor will probably access uh, going from the front yards to get to the back. Keegan, have you thought about that yet? No, I haven't thought about that yet. I will, uh, 
I'll have to get over there and take a look and see how best we can clear out enough area to work. So nonetheless, if he has to go to your front yard, you would probably knock on doors and ask for permission to go from the front, but that's still to be resolved, but we'll find a way to get to it with this intrusion to your property. Okay, and Mark, um, I, the answer is yes, I believe, but uh, Tony, will you verify? Did you say the construction will start on Autumn Court? So, uh, Keegan, do you plan to start? Okay, we're gonna walk our way from Autumn Court and walk our way back south? At this point, that is our plan, to start at the northernmost part of Autumn Court and work our way backwards. Okay, so you're good. gonna go back south? Yes. Okay. That's all that we have in chat. If you guys want to unmute yourselves and ask questions. I can go. Dana, can, can you hear me? Yes, Dana. Well, Tony's standing in for Dina. Oh, okay. <clears throat> That's okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, that was a lot of good information. Is there any way that can be printed and emailed? Um, on or uh, at least a message where it could uh, perhaps be accessed on the city site. Um, yes, I'm with... we, <laughs> um, we have a project page, Tony. Could, yeah, um, on this project page, I know that I can get the PDF of the PowerPoint posted there tomorrow. It Good. might be That'd Monday, be great. it might be Monday before the video of um. This meeting is posted because that goes through our city communications group. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, definitely the PDF, and I'll and I will fix Fabian's phone number before I post it on the project <laughs> page. <laughs> Fabian would probably appreciate it if you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, I will but, get the PDF on a on a page tomorrow. But all those other phone numbers and uh, contact information and really needs to be in print. It's just too much to digest. <laughs> Right. Thank you. Thank you for doing this so helpful. You're welcome. If someone can send me the current board for um, your neighborhood association, I can also email it to them. Okay. I uh, I actually did that <laughs> to alert them to this meeting tonight. Oh, okay. And I was okay. told by uh, the chair of the West Cliff West Association, of which I'm a member, that you all, someone's coming to their meeting in March, I think the 8th, but um, I think I will tell her anyway. That this, he said the, the project or the uh, construction would start April 8th. It's, did I get that right? Yes, Tony, can you go back to that? Which slide? Uh, the, the, the start date. The start date, okay. Yes, sir. April 8th. April 8th. Hopefully, hopefully through in September. Uh, so they have time. I was concerned because she said that someone was coming to speak to the neighborhood association, but attendance there is fair. <laughs> and okay. we, you know, that's a really busy intersection and um, that hill is well traveled. So we need to get the word out as best we can. Okay. Do you remember when we did the, do you live on the street, right? I live on Bel Air Circle at the top of the hill. Oh, okay, all right. Does anybody live on uh, Autumn, Autumn Drive? Yes, I do. And I, they, when they worked the hill, we were able to get up and down. Okay. So do you remember when we, you have you had main bricks in front of your house or you on Autumn Drive, not the court, right? I'm on Autumn Drive. Okay, so if you remember going north, we had a whole bunch of main bricks that, that we had to come back and fix all the time. So yes, first we took your Ranch View Drive. Ranch View Drive is fixed. Now we're trying to catch catch Autumn Drive as well. Yes. Okay. Okay, we okay. have another question. <clears throat> I'm sorry, another question from Kelly. How frequent? Will water be turned off during the process? So basically, we're going to install a temporary water line while your water line is taken out of service. So that when we do that, it may be turned off for maybe 20 minutes at the most so that we can put a temporary line in place 
And then as we get going with, with all your meters are being restored, it may be off for a little bit, but it should be no, not too long, and you'll get notices before it's shut off, on, and off again. Correct, Keegan, Fabian? Yes, that's correct. The only other time that the water might go off is if the cast iron main is to break uh, from ranch view heading north or south. I think each uh, line is a dead end. And so if there's a main break from ranch view heading north or south and the temporary line is connected to that, then everyone will be out of water until the main break can be fixed. Mark, you have a question? Well, um, I live on the south side of Autumn Drive. How long will it take to get from Autumn Court down to our side of Ranch View, do we expect? So if you look at the, the it's going to start on April 8th on Autumn yes. Court. Our work is way back south. Right. And that is where they finish date in September. So. Keegan, you, you reckon, say, by uh, September, August, maybe by July, you might be, you might be down south on Autumn Court? Okay. Or, yes. Okay. Okay, so we on the south side of Ranch View can expect the spring to remain untouched. Uh, we, so may start this, we might start some sewer work over there so that we can uh -huh. do simultaneous work on, on north and south. So. I wouldn't say to plan on it. Okay, thank you. Sure. And it's planning to install, uh, Keegan, you're planning to install the sewer main first on the street before we do the water, right? Yes, we'll, we'll do the sewer main first. I'm just going to probably put down some temporary water to start with so that we don't have to worry about the water services while we install the sewer. That makes sense. Okay, if we don't have any more questions in chat, Fabian, was there anything besides your phone number you wanted to say? Uh, no, ma'am, but now that you have my number, y'all are free to call me and uh, email me, and I'll try to respond to you as quick as possible. Again, like I said, Fabian is your primary contact, so you reach out to Fabian first, and if you need more information, you can always call Dana or Sally, and Sally knows where I'm at, so. But Fabian is our primary contact on the job. You'll see Keegan frequently on the job is with the contractor. So those two guys will be very prominent once construction start on the job site. Okay. I don't see anything else in chat. We want to call it a, a night. Let me, let me run through these really fast. We've got Roy K. Do you have any questions? Okay. Uh, I've got Fabian, Keegan, Craig. You've asked some questions. Are you good? I think Craig. Yeah, Craig's still on. Amanda, you've asked some questions. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Laura? Nope. Okay. Um, yeah. I see our friend from um, oh, Autumn says all is good. I see our friend from TPW. She's just listening to it. <laughs> so I won't ask her for any questions. Okay. So rem remember, um, we'll get the PDF of this PowerPoint on the project page tomorrow and probably give me until at least Monday to get the video of the meeting posted. Well, thank you, everybody. We appreciate you joining us and and giving us all your questions. Thanks, everybody. Good night. Thank you. Bye.